Good morning, I'm Manny Villoria and today we're going to learn how to use Paint.net. This is a free software, graphic software. We shall use this to edit an existing template or sample graphics. For example, let's look at this uh, SW Ultimate Certificate Official Recognition. Okay. So once you've loaded this, which you can download from the different support groups in Facebook, Let's zoom in. To this box here. And we're going to click on this rectangle select tool. And then click here. Click and hold and extend it to this other corner here. Then release your mouse and click on edit copy so we copied this area over here then click on this to go back to window view okay. then we click on edit and paste paste into new image and that's what we cut a while ago and we'll notice here at the bottom that the size is 133 pixels by 144 pixels please take note of that and then we shall load the photo of the person whose face you want to appear here remember the number a while ago 133 by 144 if you look at this photo it's 200 by 200 pixels 200 pixels wide by 200 pixels high we shall adjust that so click on image then click on resize and then here for the height let's type in 144 then click OK so it has been resized to a height of 144 pixels then let's click on edit select all so the entire photo is selected then click on edit copy so we have now copied this photo into the memory of the computer at this point we can click on file close don't save so that you do not affect the original photo so we're back here and then we click on edit Paste. Now since the photo is 144 by 144, it's larger than the 133 by 144 rectangle we uh, copy pasted a while ago. So we choose here, keep canvas size. Do not expand the canvas. Click on this, keep canvas size, and the photo will appear. You can drag this around so you'll see where the original yellow rectangle is and then you can use your arrow keys up arrow keys to position this see the picture is wider see so you can move around and then when you're happy click on edit select all to select the new canvas size and then copy then we go back to the certificate over here click on this let's click on edit deselect because right now that area here is selected click on edit deselect and then click on edit and this time paste into new layer we shall be placing the photo on a layer above the original certificate so, so that we do not affect the certificate paste into new layer then you can drag this here to help you let's click on the zoom button until it's at 200 percent scroll up scroll to the right you can use your arrow keys to position the photo Then click on this zoom level of 
scroll down to window and there it is click on edit deselect so that those lines disappear and then we'll click layers and add new layer and this new layer which is called layer 3 here will be for the name that you will type in here so we're in layer 3 right now and then for the name click on the text tool text this letter big letter T over here and then click somewhere here and type the name for the size click on this downward pointing arrow and choose 36 for the font name it's up to you which which uh, you prefer but I prefer Calibri you can also click on the B button here for bold and then this movement box here you can click and drag and position the name and then we, when you're happy with it you can click on file save as for the save as type you click on this paint.net asterisk.pdn and select jpeg and then give your file a name and then click on the save button and then you'll have a JPEG file which looks like this which you can then upload into Facebook or even in your blog when you um, welcome your downlines into SW Ultimate so that's it for this tutorial I'm Manny Villoria saying invest in yourself first before others will invest in you maraming salamat po at mabuhay tayong lahat